It's one of the worst treats for dogs. Chocolate can be toxic. If you have pets at home, the bowl of candy by the door isn't the only potential safety issue. Pet behavior specialist Kathy Ganan here to talk Halloween. Good to Hi, see you, Kathy. Leo. Leo. This? this is Leo. Hey, Leo. Leo's probably two hey, or three. Leo. Oh, he can come up here. Yeah, that'd be good for your back. Yeah, come on. He's Leo's, very strong. He's about two or three. Yes, he's very strong. He's a big guy. He's very friendly. Um, he's a some sort of a boxer pit bull mix. Uh, but he's a lovely boy. He's not uh -huh. thrilled about always being by himself. So that'll be an issue that people he, would have to work on. He, but yeah. he'll go anywhere with he you. He likes people. Likes to mm -hmm. ride in the car. Yeah. He, he likes, likes to go treats. for walks. He likes treats. Uh huh. You know. So with with him, sometimes you you caution you know different dogs are better for certain households or depending on the, the size, size of the, of the people. Dog, yeah. yeah. Yes. So what do you think about Leo? What kind of home do you think would be perfect for him? <laughs> <laughs> He should probably go to a He's, home with kids who are over 12. Yeah. Uh -huh. Because he'll knock right him over now. under that. He'll knock him over yeah. making it. Yeah, hurt. and maybe if you're if you're older and not as steady on your feet, probably he might not, not be a good idea. Fit. He wouldn't mean to, but he doesn't know his own size. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And he, he sees no himself right now, and yes. he is captivated. Yeah, he is. He's, a, he's a sharp dog. He uh -huh. is. He is. When, and when it's we're talking Halloween with yes. you today, so what's the deal with dogs in Halloween? What makes it unsafe? Well, there are lots of things. It's, it's high stress, number one, because all of a sudden the doorbell's ringing all the time and scary things are coming to their door. Mm -hmm. um, and they don't like that. Mm -hmm. that. That's a very hard, they don't understand costumes at all. Um, which is why we brought, I brought hats. Okay. Because okay. hats are kind of a nice alternative sometimes. However, Leo thought they were toys. Leo, so the, the bell. He doesn't get to put them on. The bell on this one is driving him crazy. Yes. This is more of a headband style. It is. Um, and then this. Um, That's more for a cat. Right. Has, but, you know, cats really room. don't like Have costumes. you seen that commercial where the guy designs the glow-in-the-dark cat hat yes. and his boss isn't amused? That's what that reminds me of. Yes. And then um, this one is cute. It's this is a little chicken, but yes. it's got the, the holes there where my fingers are for their heads and then yes. a Velcro crow strap under the chin. Right. So you like these options compared to... Lots of body costumes where they have to get to put legs in, and it, yeah. it gets hard on them because sometimes they can't move as well, and yeah. it, it hurts them, and so they're not comfortable, yeah. and so that's just one more stressor mm -hmm. on an already stressful thing. Um, you know, taking your dog out with you trick or treating is an accident kind of waiting to happen. Yeah. They get spooked, they run off, it's dark out, yeah. you know? A friend of ours uh, took his son out a few years ago, and a dog got loose and chased him down the sidewalk, yes. and so it was. It was bad for both families. Exactly. It's not the sort of it, memory you no, want. No, you don't. It's not a good thing. And, mm -hmm. it, and it's just, it's all fear. It's all so, fear based. So, what do you want to do with your dogs? Well, either you're passing out candy when the doors ring, doorbell's ringing, or your kids are out trick or treating. What do you want to do with them? I would make sure they're in a safe place in the house. Put them in a bedroom, put them down in the basement, turn a radio or TV on. Give, give them some a, white noise, huh? Yeah. Give them a really good bone, mm -hmm. something that they never get to see, something really fun to chew on so they're occupied. Mm -hmm. And then, like this first bullet point says up top, take them out for a long walk or get some exercise to wear them out a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Get some good exercise before everybody's out in costume, before it gets dark, all those kinds of things so that they're not mm -hmm. spooked by it. It's their usual fun walk. Mm -hmm. And you have to. a few additional points here for us. Going back to having a really special treat yeah, that's uh, that they thing. can right that they can enjoy uh, during that trick or treat period, and then also checking on them periodically because they'll notice if you're oh, not yes. around and but they've got all these other noises happening. Absolutely. It'll cause concern. Oh, absolutely. Check on. Don't just leave them by themselves. Mm -hmm. um, back and forth. You know, let them know you're still there. You know, if you can be at the door and not let the doorbell ring. That's even better because mm -hmm. that helps them out a lot with mm -hmm. the busy time. So back to the treats, Kathy. Yes. We mentioned chocolate. I think most dog owners know that chocolate's yes. bad news. But inevitably, if you turn your back and your dog gets in the bowl, or, I mean, even if you take proper precautions, stuff can still happen. Absolutely. So what do you do? What's the best response if you believe your dog ate chocolate or something else that's concerning? Get them to the vet as fast as you can so that they, because they probably will need to pump their stomach. Even some of those things, the candies that are wrapped in plastic, mm -hmm. you know, if they ingest those, yeah. or the, some of the papers, that can be make them sick. Mm -hmm. Hello. Does it matter Leo. how big your dog is? If you've got a big dog like this and they eat Leo. one piece of candy, uh, do you have to be as concerned as if it's a small <laughs> dog? Just, no, just, he's going to take he's, your pillow. Oh, well, okay. here, do you need to? Leo. <laughs> Look, I don't know what I'm he's sorry. so interested in over there. It smells good. No, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry. What does does it matter the size if they eat a piece of chocolate? If it's a big well, dog I, and they eat one small piece of chocolate, you, you think you could maybe not rush it to the vet? Maybe, but I guess I don't want to take that chance. I'll take that, that risk. Might, you know? Yeah. Um, if nothing else, too, and it can make them sick, they're going to be throwing up. Yeah. But yeah. I don't want right. to clean all that up. Clean the carpet. No. Enjoy that. Well, <laughs> NebraskaMainSociety.org, you got all kinds of dog training classes. Uh, absolutely. Not only for the pets, but for the humans, too. Sorry.
That bell. Yes. Sorry, Leo. <laughs> Sorry. Um, Thanks, Kathy. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. And we'll be right back.